Yes, yes, what's good people? Welcome back to another episode of The Block Report hosted by your boy, your man, your king, Flashy Silla. Now as usual, I'm going to give you my hot topics, my hot take and my hot picks. Come out the way, young Casey in here today. I'm in The Block Report today and I'm going to be giving you my hot takes today. Let's go, let's go. Yep, you heard what the boy said. I'm joined by Casey the third himself. You might have seen him a couple times on a couple episodes. You do. But we're going to make our way to that bench right there. Let go, we're going to have a little chit chat. Why are you and taking we'll the great gate? Just the gate. Oh. <laughs> this nigga, man. Hey, let's go, man. <laughs> So kicking off my first hot topic of this week, I want to say that OFB have got an upcoming tape called Dual Commandment. Mm. Of course, OFB, man, they've had a year this year, like, you get me? Not even a year, man. I think within that whole camp, Abra, Band OK, Double L's, even SJ, nah, they've been fucking Heavy, in. RVLI. They've been going in What were you saying about these, man, though? No, nah, I can't lie. OFB things separate, very separate. The way they manoeuvre, the way they carry themselves, everything about them. Yeah, man. Got to give it to them, man. Carrying Tottenham on their back. Ooh, that's a big thing to say, but I can't lie. They make them go global. I can't yeah, lie. Nah. Out of Tottenham, they make it go global, yeah. so... Give bro, them I can't props. Like give them their props. Them carry North London, bro. Yeah, I think they carry the whole of the whole of music scene in UK. To be what? honest, bro, I have to say it, bro. I have to say it, bro. How it many how one. many artists come out of Tottenham? Bro, enough artists, though, man. I can't. Tottenham lie, alone, bro. Not North, not South, yeah. not the whole of East. Tottenham nah, alone. Nah, nah, but other areas got their props, bro. Nah, you can say do, that for Craydon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can yeah. say that for fucking get me Brixton, mm, true. Peckham. But do do they have as many artists as Tottenham artists alone? About the same though, I'll, no, so? I'll say about the same bro, I can't I hear lie. That. So kicking off another hot topic of this week, if you've been about on social media, the gram, Twitter and whatnot, you must have seen Arms Call Yon and Bouncer. So Bouncer put up 300 bags flat to fuck up Arms Call Yon to beef him in the ring. And you know what, yeah? Hard cash he offered him. And you know what, he said, yeah, I'll put up all of this peas to thump you in your face. Like, let's do this. You know what I'm trying to say? Sky Sports, Sky Sports box office. Mm. What are you saying though, like? I can't lie, Bouncer was flexing with that one still because yeah. he's cheeky putting up 300 bags for that fight, fam. But I can't lie, arms, if you're ready, I beg you just pump him because Bruh. he's too hench, bro. My man's gonna pump him one punch, he's done. Yeah, trust bro. Um, one punch and he's finished. No, I can't lie, I'm putting my... No, I'm putting my peas on Bouncer, though. What? No, 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 them heavy use, bro. He's yeah. a heavy, he's heavy, bro. Yeah. Like, he's heavy, bro. Like, he yeah. said he's going to be moving slow on that. Yeah, he's going to be moving. Ooh. Arms will be moving slow, bro. Just one bang, bro, taking time. Yeah. But you know what? Yeah. It's good to see for the scene, do you know what I'm trying to say? Hopefully, they get a Sky Sports box office from it because if KSI and, if I'm not mistaken, it was Jake Paul or Logan Paul, one of Logan, them. Logan, Logan. Logan, innit? He, they, they got their, their box office premiere. So hopefully, we get to see the scene expand and go on to better things. So that was Arms Cool Leon and Bouncer. Let's see what's gonna happen. So kicking off another hot topic of this week is some black excellence, you know mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say, fam. Daniel Kaluuya, John Boyega, and Chadwick Boseman, RIP. They sweeped up the Golden Globes 2021, man. They sweeped it up. But big up the black British actors that are doing their bits overseas, man, in the States. And I can't lie mm -hmm. to you lot, man. There's a renaissance going on in black Hollywood right now. And that's the black British taking over, bro. We are taking over, bro. bro. We are I taking can't over, can't bro. Can't And you know what, yeah, a side comment, man. You know what, Dr. Uber, bro, he has to start watching his mouth, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you know why, bro? Mm. We're black, bro. Why, bro, why can't black people get along? I don't understand his angle. It's because, not a competition. Bro, it's not a competition, one. And two, do Americans understand that we go through racism as well? Bro, they think it's tea and crumpets here, bro. <laughs> no, really, they no, think No, they do, though. They and do. And I don't like it. Yeah, they hear the British accent, bro. They think, oh, you're all sweet and that, bro. Please stop. Yeah, Please stop. Yeah. I think, obviously, you know what? Let's see the clip now, Dr. Umar. But if the brother has a Pan-African mindset, I'm good. Okay, I'm a little concerned because I see in his interviews he like emphasizing that British accent. I'm a little concerned about that because no African playing African heroes should be emphasizing a British accent in an interview. That's not an African tongue. That's not an African tongue. The reason you speak that tongue is because the British came into your ancestral homeland of... Shut up, bitch! 
So as he saw there, he saw Dr. Umar talking shit, a bag of load of rubbish. Chatting, just chatting. Dr. Umar, do you know what, yeah? Sometimes I do respect him, innit? Mm. Like, he does have some good talking points. Like, I saw him on Nick Cannon's, um, he sit down with Nick Cannon. But he is very wassy, 90% yeah, of the time. Yeah, 90%, no, no, I wouldn't say 90%. I agree with you with the wass, yeah? But he is pro-black. I respect it for being pro-black. But you know where the Americans go wrong, bro? They're not educated enough to know what's going on elsewhere. Yeah, they bro. just think They're America, America. Bubble, that's bro. it. That's their problem, bro. Own bubble, fam. Own bubble. They don't know, fam. But do you know what? Regardless of that, man, we ain't going to sit here, whinge and whine about mm. what Dr. Umar saying. You know what I'm trying to say? So big up Daniel Kaluuya, John mm. Boyega for sweeping up the Golden Globes, man. Mm. For real. So kicking off another hot topic on a light, light note, man. A group of Hackney youngsters, man. It's good to see, obviously, they gave, they gave to their community to the homeless in Hackney. Obviously that area in Hackney, I'm not sure where it is. Mm. I'm not actually sure where it is. I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna say it so yeah. I don't get my facts wrong in it. But due to COVID, they gave back to their community, to the homeless and yeah. of course to obviously the people that are addicted to drugs and alcohol and whatnot. So big up them lot, man. So just to conclude the hot topics, I'm gonna give you guys some quick fire. So Getz, he started his campaign, Getz for number one, but unfortunately, but you know what, yeah? It's not even unfortunate, man. Mm. He started a campaign, innit? to get conflict of interest he okay, okay. his album innit yeah, yeah. he ain't even charted top 10 or even top 20 in, in, in the past yeah in the past like his wow. whole career but obviously he lost out to, to Mogwai by mm. about like 2,000 sales you know what I'm mm. trying to say but regardless of that big up gets man it's an achievement for big someone like him you know what I'm trying to say he's a veteran man he's been remember doing ghetto, it bro. yeah bro he's remember been doing ghetto, it for bro. time he's I, been I doing know him as ghetto bro you know what I'm trying to say so CJ and Fredo, they've got an upcoming song coming out. You know, mm. man, like whoop tape. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But you know what, yeah, you see that, that shoot? Yeah. yeah. Nah. Why don't you like it though, bro? You don't respect it, I don't I know like why. Because, bro, I feel like it's a, it's a car, it's like, it's, mm. It's like a, it's like an industry. Plant. You want to make a pop smoke yeah, type yeah. tune. But I feel like you only don't respect it because after six nine, now you can't respect no fake niggas. If it was before six nah, nine, nah, bro, nah, you would have nah. just enjoyed the music. Nah, bro. So. When you hear my man, bro, it sounds like a copy and paste of of, of pop smoke, bro. It's Ooh. like labels said, all right, cool. This is the structure we want, bro. We want this kind of thing on this kind of beat. And mm. do the wait, wait, whoopty, wait. movie. Uh, nah, nah, whoopty. <laughs> movie. Ah, bro. Bro, like that one. You cannot criticize nah, it, bro. bro. You cannot criticize you see, it. Even, even the whole flow, like the, the cha cha, the mata, ah, the mata. The, the, the mata. <laughs> hey, bro, I can't lie. It's kind of corny, but when you hear the tune, bro, you have to respect it, bro. Fam, I like when you're listening to Drew on that, like. Uh, you know, you know how they're doing the censor thing. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. every man censoring now, bro. Why is it? Why is it now? Every man is getting ching down, bro. Bro, every man, every gets man ching. is getting ching, bro. Every man's uh, getting ching, bro. I hate Someone's it, I hate lying. It. Yeah, somebody's lying, bro. Because the thing about the censor thing, bro, I understand it. Fez need to be, cause Fez be watching the drill thing, bro. You got to I don't like it, bro. It seems like every man is getting ching, bro. And I want people <laughs> to talk about it, bro, because it's like every drill tune man hears now. Mm. Dude, they're there's, there's a sensor on it, bro. Yeah, that's and true. And we know, like, you see, see man like Digger and all of that, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We, they've got their stripes, you know yeah, what I'm trying to say? Like, I know a couple of men in West and I've, they've, they've kind of, like, confirmed it for me. Like, okay. Digger, he's been a gun, man. Yeah. He, like, he's done his thing. But it's like, bro, the beep, the bleeping thing, bro. The bleeping thing. It's making Joe mm. lose his realness. It's realness. I can't lie. I feel like the fans enjoy more when it's not censored. When we hear the, yeah, they don't care the savageness. No, when the fans hear the savageness, bro, that's when they uh, go to it more, bro. That's when they yeah, like it yeah, more, yeah. bro. But when it's censored, bro, I feel like it just feels like it's I an feel industry like, thing. Oh, when, when we, the, the Joe that we came up on, 6-7 mm. and, and Harlem and that, before the censored That's what we're bro. used to. Bro, if you was, if yeah. you, if you, Said you ching down my man, yeah. bro, and it was cap. Yeah, you're getting, bro. You like, get someone checked. will out you, you out, bro. Get someone checked. will check you, bro. Yeah, 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 I'm trying to say. And now you can't check no one because everyone's wearing masks. Everyone's saying they ching this, ching that, bro, ching that. Not only that, bro. It's, it's you know what the thing is, yeah. It's like a lot, a lot of youths here. They jump in the studio, with a mask. Mm. The baddie mm. thing, the baddie thing's been happening, and I think that's what kind of toned it down a little yeah, bit in the yeah, past. Yeah. Isn't it? But it's like now youths can just go into the studio and say any name. Tell, tell the engineer, listen, just mute that, innit? Like, just, just, just like, censor that out. And it'll make it seem like they're doing a mad thing, bro. But that's the hot take of this week. Make sure you lot discuss that in the comments below. And we'll move on to my hot picks. Bow! So kicking off my first hot pick of this week, 
starting at number 10 and my first underground plug, we've got a kennel with Forever Bull. Let's take a look at that. Alright then, so that was a kennel with Forever Bull. Now, with a kennel, you know about a kennel, innit? been here for time. Oh, a kennel's been about, bro. A kennel's been about since about like, let's say, 2014, 2015 times. I can't lie, he puts in that work still. He's been putting in that work. Yeah, kennel's been. And you know what I'm trying to I feel like a kennel, yeah, he's the first to do the singing on drill thing. Mm. I'm, I'm, I, know, I, know, I can't lie to you, I'm firm on that point. Him and Shaki Judd, bro, they were the first yeah, to do the R&B yeah. thing on yeah. drill. And you know what I'm trying to say? The people can hear it, they can hear like the influence from R&B and how they mesh the two genres together. I'm about to say, they're very underrated, you know? Yeah, who, Akeno? Akeno and fucking, what's it, Shakavelli, who's that his name? Nah, Sha Shaki Dredd. Shaki Dredd, that's his name. Yeah, bro, yeah. very underrated, fam. I yeah, like, they need more props, in my opinion, fam. I agree, man. I think them two, yeah, like, I think it's only a matter of time, but I feel like with, with singing in the UK, when you sing, bro, yeah. it takes a it takes long time, time. It takes time, it takes time. People are not really used to the singing thing until they attach to it. Bro, bro. or you go to America, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you go to America, yeah, bro. Yeah. LMA thing. Yeah, you just yeah, go America. Just go, just go. Yeah, just go. Just, just go, go, just go, go, just go. <laughs> but that was a kennel forever ball. Make sure you lot go stream and watch that. So many ways to whip. I get busy by the stove and microwave, you want it quick. So landing in at number nine, we're seeing Grubbo with High Rise Dreaming. Let's take a look at that. You can do it one to one, I'm Harry Potter doing tricks. It tastes so good, I've got him coming for a tick. If I bust you on that spot, you might just Louis V your bitch. Personally, before I did that, I had to buy my mama whip. So that was Grobo with High Rise Dreaming. Now you see with my man, mm. I checked him out, innit? Um, I saw, I actually saw him on the post that made you think posted with him okay. and Mills. Yeah, 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 yeah. And my man's cold. It's my type of rap. You know me, yeah, like, bro. Yeah. I like rap, rap, old school, rap, rap. rap you know what I'm trying rap. to say, I like that. I like it when when rappers know how to deliver their lyrics. Yeah, you know I'm trying to say, and with a sort of cadence that I can fuck with. I do hand to hand, not banking scams and holders, Monzo. So coming in at number eight, and my third underground plug of this week, we see Mills with Bad Boys. Yeah, take a look at that one. Hey, come on, man, come on. I don't lose in the ends on foot, so you might see me in the hood in foreign. Talk, talk is boring. Last guy that we in was horrid. So that was Mills with Bad Boys. Now you gotta try to say, if you saw your boy in there, all up in the video. All in the video. Good night. <laughs> All up in the videos, but you know what I'm trying to say. Regardless of that, man, that was Mills with Bad Boys, and of course, Mills, he flows like water on the beach. You know what I'm trying to say? I feel like he fits into the pockets, and I'm not only saying that because he's, he's, he's one of the man that's on the roster of my collective, but he has got a very choppy flow, and it's something that you can fuck with. You know what I'm nah, saying? it's trendy still, it's gonna catch on still. I think, I think he's got a new flow, like, yeah, he's got yeah. a 2021 20, drill flow yeah, yeah. that keeps you interested, bro. It's not just a ching man down, yeah, you yeah. what, where, and how many times, bro. Yeah. It's really bars, you bars. know what I'm trying to say? And it's witty. That's what I like about it. Still. You know what I'm trying to say? It's witty, fam. So that was Mills with Bad Boys. Let's take a look at number seven. Frosty. All right, so coming in at number seven, mm -hmm. we're seeing Screwface from Brum with Win. Let's take a look at that one, man. At him and hope that the shank goes in. Do it only when gang seen him. Three all the guys in the bin. I'm alive for the guys that win. I'm alive for the guys that win. Swing my rumble at him and hope that the shank goes. So that was Screwface with Win. Now you see with Screwface, of course he's a Brum native, and I've been keeping eyes on him for a hot minute. Yeah. And I feel like Birmingham. I've always said this as well. I'm repeating it again and again. Birmingham is a city to watch for in 2021. Oh, if, if, you get me, if London aren't careful, bro, they will overtake us. Nah, nah, chill, 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 chill. <laughs> chill, chill. Why, why? Give Brum their props. Yes, you're coming up. London, bro, come on, we're very separate, bro. Any Brum fans watching this, no disrespect, London got the crown. But you lot are up and coming still. So you can be Prince William or Harry or something like man there. Come on. <laughs> is it? Come on. What I liked about it is the production. It was like proper eerie. Do you know what I'm mm. trying to say? It was creepy. I like the production on it. Yeah, I'm feeling it still. I feel that one still. Yeah, man. I shut up, man. You haven't even heard that, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be capping. <laughs> capping ass, niggas. So coming in at number six, we're seeing Bizarre and Gigs with Badman. Let's take a look at this one. It's a bit of a different one. Let me introduce myself, I'm the greatest Six shit, dick pic, I stay faded Big weed, 16 runs, smoke 16 blunts We see my bitches 16 months 
So that was Bizarre and Gigs with Bad Man. Now, if you're not aware of Bizarre, he's a legend. Can't lie, man. Part of D12. Yeah, Remember yeah, yeah. Um, Purple Hills? Remember that tune? Eminem, bro. Eminem, bro. Now it's calm. Hi, camera. You like me? I like you too. Fuck you talking about? Shooting at the gym. Jordan, come on now. <laughs> check the fit, check the fit. Nothing going on. Don't check, don't check, don't get too many. Comfy sliders. Come on block. now. You see the hole in the sock, but don't watch it too much. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Twinkle! Twinkle, twinkle! <laughs> twinkle, twinkle! You see the nail poking? <laughs> hey, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Don't don't do that. Listen, just check the fit. Young Casey the third. And that's all they need to know. Don't show them too much now. So coming in at number five, we're seeing the CGM boys yet again on the hot picks. ZK and Savo with Cell 17. Let's take a look at that one. Mm -hmm. I took 17 and Cell 17. Yo, it was my birthday. Back then it was rusty, dirty, side by side, throwback Thursday. I heard my man got done up the worst way. I wet that like a mermaid. I heard my man got done up the worst way. I wet that like a mermaid. So that was ZK and Savo with Cell 17. Now, of course, I feel like the hottest groups in draw right now is um, is, is the C Gem lot and the OT. Okay. I think them two, Zone 2, Zone 2 are in the conversation as well, but so. yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like them two, Zone 2, them two with Zone 2 involved, they're, they're carrying the draw team at the moment. Mm. And of course, Savo and ZK, they appeared on um, Digger D's latest drop. Yeah. Of course, he has to, he has to put his man them on, innit? But regardless of that, ZK, I I think he's cold. His delivery, as usual, would never disappoint. And of course, these lot are going off like I'm, I'm expecting a tape from them real soon. Real soon. Real soon. So that one, especially for the summer, boy. Yeah, for the summer, man. I think I think the people them need like a, a tape from them lot. So that was Cell 17, ZK and Savo. Let's take a look at number four, man. Number four in this week's hot picks. Quattro. So coming in at number four, we're seeing OFB yet again, bro. Bando K and Double L's with hashtags. Let's take a look at that. So that was Bando K, Double L's with hashtags. You bro, these lot drop every single week, bro. I can't lie, the consistency is there. Like that's what I love about them, fam. They know their fans want music. We're gonna be dropping, dropping, dropping as a collective as well, bro. You can tell they're strategic. It's not with only Bando K and Double L's, bro. Yeah. I'm, I'm talking even Heady, yeah. Abra, RV, yeah. Desi. Yeah. If them lot ain't dropping, a next man's dropping, dropping, bro. Somebody in OFB is dropping. For Someone. Them. Yeah, that's what you have to respect, it, man. Exactly. And of course, hashtags is gonna be on their upcoming tape, Draw Commandments. What I like about it is that. They always keep their gritty style, do you know what I'm mm. trying to say? They don't they don't try to water it down for certain audiences. Yeah. And double L's, like I thought I, I used to think Band OK was better. So mm. you think better though? Ooh, I feel like I think, I think L's L's is taking up right now. Nah, Bando got the presence. I can't lie, I got the star presence, but I feel like bars wise I can relate yeah, yeah, more yeah, to yeah, L's yeah. too, I can't lie. Yeah, L's, 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 he's and the way he flows, I think he's found his flow. Yeah, yeah. He's found yeah, his flow yeah. now. In the blender, these guys are corona, so coming in at number the three, cleanser. we're seeing the G, the OG, Gigs, Ooh, he's Dane Ducky. Let's take a look at that. Sending these texts, she likes me to send her. She likes me, I'm sexy. I like when it's tender. I like an adventure. H, I came in a brock. He playing with no ifs, never came with a buck. I came in and twisted the game up with buck. So that was Gigs with his daily duppy. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's his first daily duppy of like the new kind of oh, format. Oh yeah, 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 Half yeah, black, yeah. half yellow team. Yeah. And um, Gigs, people, people say that his new flow ain't it. But I like new flow gigs. You think so? I think, bro, the thing is with people, yeah, they don't like to see artists progress. And yeah, like, they want they them don't. to stay in that they box. They stay the same. But when they do say the same, they say, oh, why is this song so sound the same? Why is this song so Bro, artists have to develop, yeah, fam. For the better or for the worse, yeah. they have to change their sound. Yeah, and one thing I want I want to say, yeah, about that in particular, like, so let's, let's, let, even just speaking on gigs, I feel like with his flow, artists can't, Artists can't carry their careers off the floor they blew up on. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? You have to, cons you have to always switch it up. Switch it up. No matter always. what the fuck what the fans think. You know what I'm trying to say? You have to always switch up your flow no matter what. So, Giggs, that was the Giggs Daily Duffy. What I liked about it, of course, that's his new flow. I fuck for Giggs' new flow. Mm. And I like the witty rhymes he always comes with. I feel like it's not always meant to be lyrical, miracles, spiritual, yeah, yeah, and all of these 
yeah. use words and that. Sure. Sometimes you need a relaxed. Yes, yeah, boy. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> Yeah, come on, the Aki content. You know he's going to Juma as well. Yeah, I need to go to Juma. Yeah, hurry up, go, man, hurry up. I'll catch a second prayer, man. Don't watch it. Man. <laughs> so, we're reaching the top two of this week's Ooh. hot picks. You know what I'm yeah. trying to say? So, number two, we've got Yao Tog, Stormzy, and Kwesi Arthur with Ooh. Sorry Remix. Let's take a look at that one. It's a different one. Let's go. Obviously, just going off on the hot pick, this is a Ghana drill thing, and with with a lot of Ghana rappers, they know how to flow. Do you yeah, know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Get me them them Kwasi SM, Kwasi SM, man. Kwasi SM. Hey, big up, no, big up my Ghana yeah. bro. Like, I love Ghana people. Big up SEM, SEM, big up SEM. <laughs> Back in the day, I wanted to eat fufu because of you. My dad was telling me I'm too weak. <laughs> SEM, big up him, bro. So that was Stormzy linking up with his Ghanaian brothers, Yao Tog and Kwesi Arthur with Sorry Remix. Listen, we're at number one of this week's hot picks, man. Are you ready? You ready? You ready? Number one, see, I don't understand. <laughs> You're number one. Let's go, let's go. Let's, let's go, go, man. Let's take a look at that one right there. So coming in at number one, this is an unexpected one, a personal favourite of mine, one of my favourite rappers right now, it's hard ads with 74 bars of pain. Let's take a look at that one. Came with no visa, house mad hungry, eating brothers like Isha. Five for the feature, grind through the Easter, grind in the winter, survived in the dinger. So that was hard ads with 74 bars of pain. Hard ads super consistent this year man Literally. every song he's dropped i've liked yeah i'm trying Gally to say. love it i can't lie oh, the they love, love it bro yeah yeah, yeah. Do you know what, yeah a lot of gal when they like the real rap thing yeah like i respect their i respect their choice of real rap because yeah. a lot of like the, i can't lie, a lot of girls that i fuck with innit a lot yeah. of female friends like they fuck with a lot of real rap innit and i'm sure they'll fuck with this hard ads thing as well mm. because the way the way ads is a legend in the game yeah like he's been about since hard ads and shallow remember yeah, yeah show yeah, shallow yeah. bro where's where's show shallow bro nigga i do not know <laughs> where did that nigga go yeah i don't even know but hope, hope hopefully he's doing well in it but hard ads of course like i said on a hot pick earlier in this countdown i like rappers with clarity i like cadence i like lyricism you know what i'm trying to say I like when rappers know how to flow in the beat and they fit into the pockets very well. And Odds Odd Ads does that perfectly, do you know what I'm trying to say? He's a seasoned veteran in this team. So that was Odd Ads with 74 bars of pain. That's the hot picks done, man. Mm -hmm. done. What are you saying, man? What are you saying about the hot picks, man? I like in the hot picks still. You give me drops still. I can't like cheese that I don't even know of. You bring me spell. Yeah, probably, half, probably most of the cheese I ever know. Yeah, yeah no, 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 no. I can't lie, I do, I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right then, so that's the block report wrapped up. Mm -hmm. Catch me weekly on Mixtape Madness every Monday 6.30 where you're going to find my hot topics, my hot take and my hot picks. Any closing notes? I might be there, I might not. My slipper fall enough, but your bitch won't. Shit. <laughs> you know how it gets. When did he get here? He's like, nigga damn, who is that? I ain't never seen him ever in my life. <laughs> that looking like Humpty Dumpty himself. Mr. Eggman. <laughs> what did he just do, bro? What did he just do, bro? He went, walked there and came back, bro. He said, Andy. Suspicious. <laughs> fucking time, bro. Mm -hmm. Nah, that Andy, he can't chase nobody. He can't be an Andy, bro. Nah, he can't be, man. Shit. Bookie. <laughs> but yeah.